What's up guys, Tyler from the MX Factory here and today we are going to talk about dropping your lap times. Everyone wants to drop their lap times, right? You want to go to the track and you want to be faster every single time. So we're going to give you four tips on how to do that. We're going to hop right into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is probably the simplest form of dropping your lap times and that's going to be just riding the insides of the track. So when you ride the insides of the track, what do you do? You shorten the distance that you're riding around the track. Anytime you're going on the inside, let's just say we got an outside and we've got an inside. It's much less time to ride around this one than it is to ride all the way around this one. Now what you'll come up across or up against is that most of the time on the inside there's ruts. So you have to be prepared to be able to go through the ruts, be able to ride smoothly through that and not fall over because if you fall over on the inside of the ruts, it's not even faster than going all the way around the outside. So ride your insides, that's number one. All right, number two, and something you may not think about is practicing braking drills. The reason I say this is because most people think that if they practice going fast, that's the answer to going fast. But just like most things in life, you have to be good at the opposite of what you really want the product to be. So for instance, if I wanna go fast, I must be really good at slowing the bike down. So go in the field, practice some braking drills, make sure you take the time to understand your power in braking and stick around to the end of the video. We have a little extra for you there, so make sure you stick around. So long story short, if you wanna be able to hold the bike wide open, you should be able to modulate brakes comfortably in balance through rough stuff, ruts, mud, sand, whatever, in order to drop the lap times. That's number two, let's go to number three. Number three. This is something that I see a lot of new riders having problems with. I don't know why it's so easy for people to develop the throttle chop, especially young kids. We wanna focus on one throttle. And what I mean from that is, if we have a corner here, we wanna focus on one throttle starting at the apex, sometimes a little sooner, sometimes a little later, all the way until you need your brakes. Okay, so not chopping the throttle here, 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 and then catching throttle here, you wanna start that momentum early so you have good straightaway speed. If we get on the gas here and we stay committed to that, even if we're a good rider, and we can start to get on the gas here, here, or even here, those two or three feet are gonna to equate to a big number increase on your miles per hour midway down the straightaway. So we wanna create straightaway speed, we wanna be comfortable with our braking, and we wanna do all that, but we have to be good at that one throttle. So make sure once you turn that throttle on, you're steady with it. That will tremendously help your cornering too. It'll definitely smooth out the second half of your corners. Number four is going to be jumping to the sweet spot. What is the sweet spot, you ask? Well, this is not the sweet spot. That would be a case. And this is not the sweet spot. That would be an over jump. Both of these are going to create instability, fear, anxiety, and maybe even a crash. So if you were going to your practice track and you were focusing on one thing at a time like you should be, you should maybe pick a day where you go just to jump and land on the sweet spot of every jump. This is gonna improve your timing and 100% improve your lap times because it's gonna improve your comfortability around the track, right? If you case a jump or you case two or three in a row, you can create so much anxiety in the body that the arms start to swell up with arm pump, you start to get out of breath, you just wanna pull off, you wanna give up, right? So if we can jump to the sweet spots, we've gotta work on that. Jump to the sweet spots, it's gonna calm you down, it's gonna speed you up and you will 100% drop your lap times. All right, I know I mentioned in the beginning of this video that we have something special for you at the end, and we have some free tips we're giving away. All you have to do is click down below. It'll be the first thing in our description. It's a free six-part video series where we give you a path to getting your foundation dialed in so all of these other tips that we mentioned in this video come a lot easier. So make sure you check that out. Quickly click down below. First thing there, sign up, come straight to you.